Happy Wednesday, Chelton. Today, I want to take a brief moment to introduce you what we are studying as a church in the fall. From this coming Sunday, we will be studying the book of Ephesians with the theme of One Church. What hinders us from truly becoming a one church? Often it is that self-serving bias and mentality, thinking that the church is just for me. But the book of Ephesians clearly teaches us that no, church is not just for you. It is not just for me. And it is not just for ourselves. What an year and what a summer it has been. And yet, we have seen our people really rising up to care for one another and to love one another. Why is that? We have seen our people opening their homes during VBS week to serve our community. Many of you volunteered in that capacity. And when we are not doing well, we have seen our people delivering meals. We have called texted and emailed one another to check on them when they are not doing well physically, emotionally, and spiritually. This past week, when the tornado swept across our community, many of you emailed us and asked us, hey, how can we serve? And you did. You served this community so well. It all happens because we know that we are one church in Christ Jesus alone. So this fall, we pray that the book of Ephesians will clearly teach us that we are one church in Christ Jesus alone. We pray that it will undress our self-serving bias and clothe us with humility believing, knowing, experiencing the power of gospel, which tears down all the barriers that hinders us from truly becoming one church in every single aspect of our lives. Chelton, we do pray that the gospel story will truly reflect our story. The way we live our lives will truly reflect the gospel story because we know We are one church in Jesus Christ, what he has done, his death and resurrection. God bless. I'll see you this Sunday.